Hey everybody, I'm Alabama Boss, and it's time for another episode of Uncurrent Events. This one right here takes us to New Bedford, Massachusetts, where a 26-year-old man decided to drive his scooter over to Maine. The only problem is it was at night, and the man's scooter apparently did not have a headlight. So he decided it was a great idea to pull out his cell phone and turn on that little flashlight that your cell phone has and use that for a headlight. I don't have a headlight, I'll use my cell phone. That's what you do when you're in your house looking through a closet or something. You don't jump on the highway on a scooter, head down the highway and be like, I'll just hold this bitch out, it'll work. And how much are flashlights? Can you not go to the dollar store and get like a 10 pack for seven bucks? To add insult to injury, the scooter was not registered and this man did not have a driver's license. 26 years old, does not have a driver's license. I'd be willing to bet it's because they were pulled. This one right here takes us to New Jersey, where a senator is now warning that legalizing pot will lead drug dealers to selling sex toys. State Senator Ronald Rice, who is a Democrat, a lawmaker who calls himself a progressive, recently told reporters that he believes marijuana is a gateway drug that if legalized will lead to the selling of sex toys and oils. He quotes, in fact, if we legalize recreational marijuana right across the street from my office, they're going to put up stores. They want to call them dispensaries, but they're going to be stores that do retail selling of cupcakes with marijuana, candies with marijuana, sex toys and oils with marijuana, lipsticks with marijuana, all those kinds of products that kids can get and people can get. What the hell kind of sex toy has marijuana? Are you gonna buy a big destroyer dildo that's stuffed full of fucking gold cush? I don't think so. Is this ball gonna be like a bowl of marijuana you can smoke out of? What kind of sex toy, Senator, are we talking about? I mean, I've seen big bongs and they're shaped in all kinds of ways. Are we talking about a dong-shaped bong? What is it? Look, sex toys are doing just fine. You wanna invest in something that's always gonna make money? It's dildos. People are gonna buy them. Another thing to invest in, marijuana. People's always gonna buy it, no matter what. Legal, illegal, people smoke it. Dildos, people put them in them. It happens, it's always gonna happen. Just shut up. This one takes us to Japan. The Japanese city of Iga has been forced to clarify it's not, in fact, recruiting ninjas. Following reports that it was facing a shortage of skilled assassins. So they put this out saying, hey, ninja performers can make up to $85,000 a year. There's a little bit of a shortage, we need a couple. That turned into the internet saying, hey, there's this city called Iga in Japan that will pay you $85,000 to come over here and be a ninja. So they got this huge influx of applications. They got 115 applications from 23 countries. They were gonna go to Japan and be a full-time ninja. The city put out a statement saying, Iga is not officially hiring, but this is where ninjas originated. The city also said in a statement, you can feel and experience the history throughout the city, so please visit us. So if you want to go to Iga and check out some old ninja shit, apparently you can. But don't expect to go over there and get hired and be paid $85,000 to be a skilled assassin because that's not what they're doing. This one right here takes us to San Antonio, Texas, where three people stole a 16-inch horn shark named Helen. This thing come from an aquarium. So they come in, they bring this baby carriage with them. They also bring a net. They go to one of those kitty touch pools where you can reach down there and touch stingrays and stuff that won't kill you. So they got Helen, the horn shark, with the net, put her in the baby carriage. Then they go from there to this filter room where they take a bleach bucket, empty it out, they put the shark in some fresh water in the bucket, then they put the bucket in the stroller, cover it up like it's a child, and take it to their car. Somewhere in the mix of this, someone at the aquarium saw them. They get to the car, the people will not let them in the car. They won't let them see what's in the stroller. So obviously they call the cops on them. The cops find the people at the house, along with Helen, the horn shark, and a ton of other aquarium fish, or whatever the f you want to call them. I guess he didn't have a horn shark and he wanted one. And how do you get one? You steal it. This one right here takes us to the interwebs where there's a trend. I love a trend. So this vlogger claims that using toothpaste and this concoction that she's made will tighten saggy breast in just five days. Obviously this story is two sagging sacks of but to weigh in on this is resident expert, Ashley Taylor. Good words for me. 
Just kidding. I actually did try this when I was a little girl. What? And Yeah, I did. I used to take the tooth because my mama told me it would work. So I was like, Mom, why am I like 18 years old and have two mosquito bites? So I was like, what is going on here? So my mom did all this research trying to like prevent me from having plastic surgery. And so I mixed toothpaste and mint together and was like, grow, 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 grow. And it, nothing, nothing happened. You know what though? If you're rubbing toothpaste on your titties, it can't hurt because your man, he might be like, minty fresh. Ding. He can motorboat those son of a bitches all night and morning and not even have to brush his teeth. Sorry, ladies. I hate to break it to you, but the only thing that's going to help increase the size, the collagen, the elasticity, and the perkiness of the tatas is a plastic surgeon. Well, thanks, Ashley. Tata for now. Have the best day ever, boss. I will. Thank you. This one right here takes us to Kentucky, but it's about Florida. So we're definitely gonna talk about it. Florida is home to the key lime pie. Florida's legislator voted in 2006 to make key lime pie its official dessert. So Florida thinks highly of key lime pie. Florida don't have a whole lot going for it. They got beaches, that's cool. And they got key lime pie and a whole lot of meth heads. But here comes this woman from Kentucky that's claiming that Borden Milk Company invented key lime pie in a marketing effort to promote their condensed milk. But a man in Florida named David Sloan, he's the author of the Key West Key Lime Pie Cookbook, said his research proves that key lime pie existed before 1931. He claims that this woman named Aunt Sally from Key West perfected the key lime pie recipe in the late 1800s. It's a big story, it's real cool and all, but it doesn't really matter. What's funny about this? is that somebody in Kentucky has pissed off a lot of people in Florida over pie. Okay, this one right here takes us to Maryland, where there's a man, late at night, he's snooping through cars, looking into cars and parking lots, and somebody calls the law to him. The law shows up, they ask him what he's doing, you know, nothing. Then they search him and they find an air pistol and a small bag of weed. That's when this man comes up with a great plan and says, hey, you know what? Y'all got me. I've got an air pistol. I've got a bag of weed. I was gonna break into these cars, but I tell you what I'll do. I'll get you some free donuts. I work at Krispy Kreme. Now I paraphrased and made that up, but I didn't make up the part about the man trying to bribe cops with free donuts. No, they did not kick this guy's ass, but they did add a charge of attempting to bribe a public official. Look, if you're gonna attempt to bribe a police officer, do not say, you want some donuts? Now, I'm not saying you need to bribe the police, but if you're gonna attempt to do it, put some effort into it. Don't be saying you work at Krispy Kreme and you'll get them some hot donuts. That's some bull That's all I got this week for Uncurrent Events. I'm Alabama Boss. You know, I don't know, it might help with sagging and tightness. I should start trying that now that my breast implants are like 12 years old. Um, I may try that now and just see, but I don't know. What is so funny? I don't understand. It might work. I need to check out this vlogger. I might, you know what though? If you're rubbing toothpaste on your titties, it can't hurt because your man, he might be like, minty fresh. Ding. <laughs> he can motorboat those son of a bitches all night and morning and not even have to brush his teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that good? Yep. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>